I'm about to take you on a journey through editing a series of portrait photos. We'll start with a single image, develop a look for it, and even apply some AI masking to the photo. Then I'll copy and paste that look to a series of other images, and you'll see how the AI masking will automatically reapply to the other shots. Pretty cool, right? Let's dive in. These are the four photos I'm gonna be working with. As you can see, similar poses, same model, but they are a little bit different. So let's start with this one. I want to apply a filmic look to this. So I'm going to go over here to my color rendering. And because I have DxO Film Pack also installed, I can choose from any one of these color negative or color positive film looks. As you can see in here, there's a variety of different film stocks already installed that will render this image out as if it was shot on that type of film. I think I'm going to go with Agfa Vista 200. That film stock is actually a really good look. So let's take a closer look at the image and see how it panned out. As I pan around here, I think this looks great. The skin looks good, the hair looks good. I'm probably gonna work on that a little bit, but there is one little thing I wanna fix and that's a blemish on her face here. Just one little pimple. So let's go ahead and I'll grab the retouching tool and just spot that out. Perfect. All right, we'll close that. And I think I wanna work on her hair a little bit. So I'll zoom back out. And instead of trying to mask out her hair manually, I'm gonna use one of the AI tools. So I'll go over here to my local adjustments, grab the AI tool, and I'll go down here to the little person icon and simply choose hair. And just like that, the hair will be detected and I've got a perfect mask over her hair. I can even go up in here and name it. Let's call that hair so we don't forget what it was. What do I wanna to do to that? Probably saturate it a little bit and maybe add a little bit more contrast to it. Let's take the saturation up a little. Can't go too far, it'll get too crazy, but let's say right about there. And then let's go to my micro contrast and add some texture in. Love it. Next, I wanna work on her tattoos. She's got this really cool tattoo with this aqua blue color, but I wanna make that aqua blue really pop out. So let's go back up to the top of our masks, create a new mask, and we'll just call that tattoo. Grab the hue masking tool, click anywhere on that green color, and there's the default mask. Now, it's a little bit light. We wanna expand it a little bit, and the way we do that is from this tool here. This is showing the range that is currently being selected. So as I move this out, it's gonna select a greater range of those colors. If I go too far, it'll start selecting colors that I don't want. So we need to narrow that down a little bit and find just the right area. And let's make sure we feather that out so it's a nice smooth transition. Looking pretty good. Now I'll go ahead back down to my saturation and take that up. And now look at that tattoo pop, digging it. All right, so this is the look. This is what I want to apply to the other images. So to do that, I'll go to this first photo, right click and choose copy correction settings, and then go to the other three and choose paste. But what paste do I wanna do? I can paste all the settings, selected settings, or I can do just the local or just the global adjustments. Now I want basically everything that I applied here except for the retouching of the blemish because that is gonna be in a different spot in each pose and that was not an AI driven tool. So I'm gonna to have to manually move that if I paste it in this way. So instead of manually moving it, I'll just take it out of the paste. I'll go to paste selected corrections and disable retouch. Now we'll go ahead and paste this in and that'll paste everything else. Let's go ahead and verify. We'll go to this first image, scroll up to the top and there's the hair mask and there's the tattoo. Next image, Again, we'll look at the hair and look at the tattoo. And you can see that each mask has automatically been updated for each individual photo, selecting the hair and the tattoo colors beautifully. And of course, at this point, I would go back in and manually retouch out that blemish for each photo. That's a pretty great example of fast photo editing. Get that look dialed in, copy and paste it, let the AI capture the elements that you set up, and then manually go in and tweak what you need to do by hand. Overall, a pretty sweet workflow in DxO Photolab 9.